This is Working with Text and Embedding Fonts in Expression Blend. This is Jennifer Smith with AGI Training for Microsoft. Using fonts that work consistently in all systems and platforms has been an issue that has led to the use of the same built-in fonts over and over again. Now with Expression Blend 3, you can embed fonts opening up opportunities for a more creative layout. So what you see in front of you is the game at this stage, and perhaps at this point we want to add some text. Now a couple things I just want to note to you. First of all, we're going to be using the text block control for this game. And what this allows us to do is put text in here that is not going to be changed and edited by the user. If you wanted text input boxes, then you would be using the text box. So first of all, I'm going to start out by just creating a text block. And up here at the top of the game, I have some text that needs to go in here. And the first text is simply the word score. So I'm going to go ahead and type in S-C-O-R-E. Can't really see it there. So I'm going to select it just by clicking and dragging over it. Or I can do a Control A for a select all. And you'll notice that off to the right in my properties panel, I have a text pane. And in here is a drop-down list of different fonts that I can access. Now, all of these fonts that have the little A icon off to the right are fonts that will be built in if somebody has installed Silverlight. So you don't really have to worry about those so much. But as you can see, there's not a whole lot of creativity in those either. So perhaps I want to use something like Euro style or something that's just a little bit more unique. I'm going to scroll down. And I am going to select, I'll just take your style LT standard. I can't see my text yet, but you'll also see that text, just like other objects in Expression Blend, are controlled by the Properties panel. So I'm going to click on white to change that text. And I'm going to return back down to my text pane. And here, I can go to the Size drop-down menu, the font size and change that perhaps to 24. And you'll also notice that I can bold, italicize, and underline this. Now, a couple other things here, something critical. I have selected a font that if I were to test this or if this were to be finished and built on somebody else's machine and they did not have Eurostyle, this would just revert back to a standard font, like an Arial or whatever their standard font is. You'll also see that there's an error down at the bottom or a warning letting me know that I did not choose a built-in Silverlight font. By simply clicking on Embed, I can embed this font into this project. And you'll notice that if I go under Projects, that you'll see that in here is now a font folder that's been added and Eurostyle has also been added. Now a couple things here. If I know I'm not going to be using all of these Eurostyle fonts, I don't have to include those. And also, if I come back here, and I'm just going to activate this again, going to select it and just go back to my Properties panel, you also see that I have a Font Manager in here. And when I click on that, I can also come in here and choose that perhaps I don't want this font. I, in fact, do. But perhaps I only want uppercase or lowercase, no numbers, no punctuation, so that I can also conserve on space that way, including only what I need to use. Now I'm going to take this a little bit further. I have additional font controls in here. For instance, I can click on Paragraph. And in here, I can choose that I want to center my text in here. And you'll also see that I have an arrow for advanced properties. And in here, I can stretch my font. I can change the font style if I want to italic that way. The weight, I can make it extra bold and extra light. You do have to be careful with that if you're using a font that perhaps might get a little distorted when you apply some of those font weights to it. The line height would be the space between the lines. And then, of course, text alignment is also listed in there. So I've got this font in here. and. I'm going to go ahead and take this, and I want to create the additional fonts that I need. So I'm taking the Selection tool. I am holding down my Alt key, and I'm dragging this off to the right. And you'll see that the guides are telling me when I'm aligned. I'm just going to add another text block here. And then I'm going to continue holding down my Alt key and pulling this text block over. 
and perhaps one more time. Okay, so now I'm just going to make sure I'm on my text block tool and I'm going to select this text. I can just click and drag over existing text and type in last and then select this text in the third text block, type in high score, and then one more, the last one being live. Great, so we're set to go. So now you've seen that you can be a lot more creative with your font selections and thereby create a much better application when you're all said and done. This has been Jennifer Smith with AGI Training for Microsoft.